Hey guys, so I'm finishing up this video. Uh, this one is going to be totally different. Uh, it's going to be all about the suspension, uh, curlovers, angle kit, you know, everything around. Uh, it's going to be a different one, no music, just me and one of the jokes for me and Arnas. So grab a beer and enjoy this one. Guess who's back after COVID? <laughs> now COVID free. <laughs> so let's unbox this crap which came from UK. Okay, daddy. <laughs> okay, daddy. <laughs> Let's see what's in this beautiful box. Yeah. So. This came from UK. Oh. It's super fucking heavy. So we have this cool adjustable destro and die lower control arm. Arms, to be precise, we have two of them. <laughs> so yeah, we'll mount this, and we'll go together with, with the other box. Guess what's there? <laughs> Fully adjustable. These are the middle stiffness, and maybe we'll go to the more stiffer spring. We'll see how it goes. But today we're going to fit it with the arm and try to figure out the anti roll bar uh, how it goes together uh, everything because it's all aftermarket shit so it may not fit so let's try it out that was quick yeah <laughs> arm goes out, out. <laughs> <laughs> the difference in length it's fine the minimum is like stock it's perfect what i wanted so for drifting, I can go here. For normal riding, here. Awesome. I need to switch the bushings. Where is the roll bar link? The roll bar, the roll bar link is the same place also. I have one issue, like it's fucking heavy. Like super heavy. Yeah, it's like twice the weight. I don't like that. Like this car is nose heavy already too much and now adding this shit. Try the full drift set setup. You will see it at least it's immediately. You know how stock looks like. That's true. Send it drift. Send it. Of course. It's Send a fucking, it. You will Send have it. V8. What you would like to do the first time you started. A donut. Yeah, I can do donuts without steering dog much. Okay. But with steering dog you can do better donuts. I personally really want to see the full drift setup mod because one of our friends basically said that there will be too much camber. Well, he's assuming like that. <laughs> in Lithuania we have IRP, which I know and I saw it already in action. Weissfab, of course. There is no Weissfab for Miata. Yeah, there is no Weissfab for Miata, so that's... Ah, oh, I'm a fucking idiot. He's a fucking idiot. I don't know why, but let's see. I have a different thread pitch. Like Somebody fucked up either or not or both. No, it's fine. Did the yeah. This is the stock bolt. Stock nut. This is the original Mazda high strength and the problem is still the same. I need longer bolt. Or I have to give up the spacer. No spacer. And it's black. Ah, I should use a gun for it. Okay. Let's put on the spindle. There are, will be no part, no stock parts left. Maybe I'll have to extend this, and I want to replace this piece also. Ball joint will be everything new on this car. Everything. That's not too much camber, I think. Let's see. Now camera is approximately on the flat. No, this is too much. We have around but two and a half, three degrees. This is max max camber here. Yeah. What we want to get with the geometry settings is maximum caster, so the the wheel returns itself. This car always had a little bit of problem of that, so now I can 
screw the camber, go with maximum caster, and there still will be plenty of camber left. This to the max. And this one to the minimum. This is maximum caster. To do this as much as possible in front and maximum camber right now. Um, we're doing a car video, not a jerk-off video, not Pornhub. But that could be a good clickbait. My, my sex face, no, it's not a good clickbait. You're driving a Miata, don't lie that you have a girlfriend. Come on, I have a proof. It's a boyfriend. I have a proof in this so, video. So maybe she's with boyfriend with tits. <laughs> Bravo! What the, what the fuck just happened? I didn't catch the camera, but everything just fell down, including a gas tank for the welder. And another arm. New arm. Brand new arm. It's already fucked. Before like your, it. like your brand new engine last time. Things just keep falling here. It's not here. How far we can? We can go much more farther. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where is the center of the wreck. So we can set it up after. And we cannot do it without the car on the on the ground. Which we can do today because we have coilovers. I've been told I'm not funny at all on the videos. And now the car will be finished after the <laughs> <laughs> No <laughs> Just no <laughs> Fits nicely. Look at this fitment. This is probably the maximum how much it will go down. This is the maximum lock. Ah, there is something in the way. This is maximum lock on the rack. And this is again hitting my jack. Ah. This is maximum lock. Let's see from the top. Yeah, it's not hitting anything. And the E46 roll bar works amazingly with this. It's much better than the E36 one. I just need to make, make the roll bar links. That's the roll bar. We still have full hand amount to go away. I can make it larger for you. So this is, yeah, this E46 roll bar. Is it maxed out, the rack? Yeah, yes, the rack, the rack is, is now maxed out. Wheel is fine till the end. Even if we turn it to the side of the roll bar, it's not touching. So, and it fits the fender. And it, yeah, it fits. Maximum compression, maximum. It's really close, but it fits. Yeah, and this is the maximum position. Like when we go to normal driving position, we will gain a bit more because of the bump steer. We did not have enough lock, yeah. But now we're on the maximum lock and on the driving position. Like this, okay. Now let's slam it a bit more. I think this will be like one finger job. Okay, so this. Yep. Yeah, this is my normal driving driving ride height. I can put like finger here, and not more. A boot boot cannot fit. Looks great. I think this car will be on the wheels for this one. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, it's going. I'm not rusty at all. Beautiful, my friend. Ouch. Isn't it beautiful to see everything new? <laughs> All the retains oh. and new... Uh, These are actually the last ball joints I have stole from the car. That's, That's exactly. only original one. I bet they are Miata. Original. Cool. Actually so rusty that you did not see this part. 
to the bin. Yeah. Coilovers time. These are the SHD coilovers uh, by Miata enthusiasts. They are, seem to be the best for the bucks. So yeah, uh, these are only spring grade nine. So I will put some preload. They specifically say in the manual that there should be zero preload. Yeah, I heard about it already from the BC coilovers, and they are fucking bottoming out totally. And they are similar spring rate. So I will do a bit of it because especially the engine is heavier. So I will do one centimeter. Like on the BCs, I had like three, four centimeters. I will go with one here and we'll see how HSD, how much they are right in there, how to. So I will show you how to set it up. So this is no preload. This, this, uh, this should be never like this. Yeah, you have helper springs for this sometimes if it's needed, uh, but these don't have helper springs. So I will set it up to the zero preload so the spring is not moving this is zero preload yeah so what i want to do is take a tape measure measure here from this silver ring which is there this is 17 and a half centimeters so i will go with one centimeter and we'll see i don't believe uh one is too much for them so yeah so hopefully no let's measure it was 17 and a half okay. much more to go okay now it's 16 and a half to lock it go <sighs> eight centimeters okay does the maximum slime is eight centimeters let's go eight centimeters no. let's go eight centimeters she never said that let's go eight <laughs> centimeters well yeah she would say 20 but we can't <laughs> So let's go five. Eight. Five. Eight. Just because of you, otherwise I would go four. He's a good guy, but sometimes a pussy. <laughs> you know, I have a really shitty driveway here. I would like to get out eventually. That's overrated, you just need a few woods in your back. Okay. I'm not going to even take it. Leave it like this. Because we're... I need to take this condom off. Here, no? I'll shoot it here. Oh, cool. You ruined the shot again. The right one? Yeah, on the Miata, this is in front. This goes for the ABS sensor. I know. I'm a drift boy with ABS. I gotta breathe. That's a long shaft. We have a problem. Yeah, let's fuck the powder coating. Let's leave it like this because we were going to adjust it like first day. It's on the ground, I guess. It's fine, it's like milking a cow. <laughs> no, you have to milk both nipples. One goes down, other goes up. Like a cow. <laughs> That's a tough cow. <laughs> Good 
I already see how he's putting a music over the whole footage. <laughs> ah, no, it's untightening it. It's probably normal. Oh, yeah, so it's normal. I wanted to replace these tyros, but there's nothing wrong with them. Yeah, but you should shoot this. You should shoot it? Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. This is the lock spacer. Yeah. It does not do much on Miata, but it does something, so. But I need to remove it now. Anybody wants them? <laughs> Can you it? Oh, ouch! It hurts. I hurt my muscle when I was... <laughs> I hope it's the right release. I think it's not. It's kind of self-greasing with the with the oil <laughs> from steering. Let's give some here So I've removed the steering hex spacers, these, uh, because it was just way too much. So this this spindle is giving me plenty of angle I need. Uh, the whole idea what I'm trying to do is drift and time attack at the same time, or at least adjustable from one to another, you know. So uh, I want all the lock, but I want all the good geometry also. That's why I'm on the minimum camber here in the front so I have some grip on the straight uh, if I want to go crazy I can go to this to this maximum settings it's about 10 degrees of camber which is like super drifty setup we'll see maybe I'll try it uh, later but uh, because I removed these spacers uh, I've solved the problem with the clearance to the to the bar so for the E36 bar uh, that has longer links uh, you need to rework the mounting on the chassis. For the E46, uh, you don't have to rework, you can, you can mount it to the stock location, but you need adjustable arms. Uh, and also the E46, and that's the main reason, uh, has a bend in it. As you can see, so there's more wheel clearance. So right now it looks like I will just lightly touch it, or I will find out really soon uh, with the wheel. But I will just lightly touch the bar, which is acceptable for me. Before that, I was just running like directly into it. It was just way too much. Uh, if you have any idea for a roll bar, which could fit from any different BMWs, uh, we can theoretically try E30, uh, we can try E90. All of these cars have a long engines, so they have the clearance for the for the pulley you know, of the V8. That That's the reason why I'm not running stock me at the bar even though I have a really good adjustable one. So yeah, uh, now I'm going to do uh, my roll bar links. These are prototypes. They are not welded. Yeah. So I just drilled through the, uh, the long nut so I have, I made it basically tube with eight millimeters in the inside and I will carefully weld it around uh, 
exactly in the angle it wants to, you know. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I just figured out this and this will bind when it goes up, when the, when the roll bar on the bump goes up and we certainly don't want that. So I need to modify the arm here a bit to push it there so I can flip it and hopefully it will work. So bending this is surprisingly easy. Long bolt, socket. 117, another 17, another 17. The other just for leverage, and then just use your mighty biceps and there. Let's talk gear curlovers. So the reason why to why I chose HSDs is because of simple this thing. You know the top the top head uh, has much better construction. There is a place where the shock can actually go in, so it's much more pleasant on the bumps. Uh, on the BC racings I had before, I had a preload like crazy to compensate for this. And I had to run pretty stiff damper in the back. You know, that was the only way how to cope with this. Uh, everybody says this cures it, so I'm looking forward to try it. Uh, this car will have a lot of power, so I will be having us down for the grip. You know, so that's why I bought them. Uh, everybody hates them on BMWs and loves them on Miatas. And I now have BC Racing uh, on E90 and I kind of understand why. It's amazing on the E90, but for some reason on the Miata, it's not not the same stuff. The welding is probably different, uh, otherwise they look similar. They maybe come from the same Taiwan factory, who knows, together with the Meisters. Uh, the welding is probably different, the spring rate is different. We'll see how it goes. Um, I almost bought a uh, field suspension curlovers uh, because they can do valving specifically for you and nobody here in the Czech Republic wants to touch these maybe one guy we'll see I will maybe try to convince him uh, but I first want to try how they are uh, test them out uh, do some drifting do some racing and then we'll see whether I will need to step up my game and put double the money in the curlovers or not so yeah I will now set the preload even though uh, they say zero, I don't believe this shit anymore. In Miata, the preload is needed. So I will put some preload in it, probably just one centimeter, and throw them in the back. So the car can go on the ground and I can finish up the uh, links for the roll bar. Don't worry, I have soft jaws on the vice, you know, from polyurethane. They won't hurt the thread at all. I saw a guy from Ohlins use uh, even these, you know, aluminium ones, but <laughs> it's aluminium or aluminium, I don't think it's a good idea. Okay, I have no idea about the ride height, so uh, this is bottomed out and I will go to the middle. 
important thing, especially for the internet commenters. I have no clue whether this is correct setting for this. Yeah? I was Googling a bit, nobody told me. So I'm using my experience from the BCs, which they may be right, maybe it's something totally different. It really depends on the valving and this top head is different. So, you know, on the BCs, I have four and a half centimeters preload here. It's a one or one and a half. Where do you take the zero? I don't know. So don't take it as advice. I will try it and then I will adjust it. Uh, the setting of the preload, uh, you're basically uh, giving up droop, you know. So when there is a hole, which the shock should go down, you're sacrificing this. Yeah, so if you overshoot it, you don't have any droop and the car will behave really weird. But on the other hand, remember how much stock cars have preload on their springs. How much, yeah? How much you need to compress the spring before you put it on the shock. So, the preload is not a bad thing. You just have to set, find the right one, you know? I don't know why all the callovers say there should be zero. I don't think so. This is the moment I will maybe find out that <laughs> my axles won't fit <laughs> with, the, with the coilovers. That would be really funny. So I haven't yet finished up my masterpiece this thingy. I'll probably have to shorten it and do it one more time uh, since it tends to bind to the shock body. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I want to finish it you know, on the ground uh, to have the exact length when the car is corner balanced, at least, you know, same height everywhere. Uh, so yeah, uh, but in the meantime, I want to do before the car goes on the ground, uh, I want to do this. Uh, this is a brace. So the wall stabilizer pushes, especially the fat ones uh, are pushing and bending this bracket. Even though I have it a bit reinforced uh, on my car, I want to reinforce it more. This is the cool trick. You just put a piece of aluminum, put two holes there. Uh, so it's standing in the place and then like mounted hard against it. So yeah, I'm going to do it now. You can see the piece there already. This is just a random piece of aluminium uh, I had laying around. These are high strength bolts. They are unfortunately not prepped anyhow against the corrosion. But what I can do, I need high strength bolts here. So this is bolt and the nut. So I will mount the stabilizer with the nut here in the end, you know, this way bar. Yeah, I have my marks here already. Where I'm going to be cutting here, here. And you can maybe see from the bottom, maybe not. So yeah, let's cut it while the hole is there. And as for the other one, super simple. That's the result. Okay. To finish up the brakes, you need to put ABS sensors, new brake discs, and new pads. Uh, I bought these uh, ceramic ones. Uh, they're supposed to be high performance, but ceramic. Usually they are no high performance uh, when they are ceramic, you know. Uh, so they should not eat the rotors that much. We'll see, this car really likes uh, DTC 30s from, from Hawk. I really like them, but they are super dusty and you're changing the brake pads three times a season. And since I'm drifting more, I don't need that hardcore brakes. We'll see if it's not going to be enough for racing. I will have to go to the DTC 30 back.
I will try this. So, yeah. Let's put the sensors first. By the way, uh, if you think like, you know, this is a drift car, you should not have ABS. I like ABS a lot and you can really simply turn it off. You just disconnect this plug, you know, from the ABS and you have no ABS car and it's perfectly fine and the handbrake is working and everything. Then you just plug it back when you go back on the road. So I don't see a problem and I really like ABS uh, for the racing uh, because I'm racing a lot in the wet sometimes even in the snow and it's better and you don't have to concentrate on the brakes that much and just press it firmly and fast and you hold it there ABS does the stuff for you then you you know still keep cornering and then you slowly releasing and it does all the magic for you I'm a big fan of ABS uh, even though on this car there is no magical it's just three circuits not four but still this is my ABS hole drill, 60 millimeters. Yeah, now it fits. So the brake rotor is on, actually the wall brakes, uh, but I found the problem. The steering and die arms are adjustable like crazy, but I want to run them most of the time on the minimum settings and they have a big trouble. When I'm going to full lock, there is a big problem here. Here. You can see the arm goes directly into the disc. I don't know if their spindles are totally different or when if you have longer top arm is better. No, it's not. So I don't know, but it's just not compatible. It's not, it's not working. I don't understand how this could work to anybody uh, on the stock spindle. You know, the my spindle is just mod have just modified this part, you know, for the angle kit it's shortened, you know, so it's in here so i will have to cut into them and like quite a lot because this is the max lock on this side but if you look on the other this is on the other side so this is much more i have to cut into the brand new part you can see from the bottom how much it's hitting it nothing better than cutting into the brand new parts Hey, she's on the ground. What a beautiful day. Was this car always so low or I just messed up these things of the, of the coilovers? Some mess. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, what I want to do now is uh, to weld the other, other sway bar link so it's, you know, settled down. But bloody hell, it's slow. <laughs> Jsi nekoukala někdy na YouTube? Ne. Ne, nikdy. Ne, jsi nikdy se nevěděl ani na YouTube. To je jednýho vlogera. Ne. Jo, jednýho jo. Jo. Tebe. <laughs> Ach jo.